up makeup lovers welcome back to my channel so in today's video i wanted to do the january favorites but i wanted to put a little twist on it and actually create a full face using my january favorites so that is what we're gonna do today i'm actually super excited to film this so before we get into the makeup don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell on so that you won't miss any uploads i do upload three videos every single week sunday wednesdays and friday so with that being said guys let's get right into january favorites all right so face is all moisturized and feeling good i have no eyebrows today so the pencil that i've been using that i've been loving and i have not put it down and literally it's my second pencil already is the nyx um professional micro brow pencil this is what the baby looks like it's really pigmented it glides on literally you could do your eyebrows like shape your eyebrows in 2.5 milliseconds because that's how like good the pigment is from this pomade in the other hand i've been using this since the beginning of time which is the milani stable brow um pomade in the shade 05 dark brown so unfortunately my mirror broke a couple days ago and it sucks so i'm actually gonna have to use this big old palette but i am gonna use it today so this is the la girl pro artistry eyeshadow palette this is what the baby looks like this is the palette right here such a beautiful beautiful palette but so let's get ready with these eyebrows i like taking the spoolie and just combing my brows this is gonna trace the natural shape of my eyebrow and boom you see how easy that was like this pencil is really freaking good. So now we're gonna go in with this pomade. I'm gonna take it and just run it. So that's where I like to stop. And I like to distribute the product to the front and then I get this nice little like fade. And I like taking this um concealer brush from e.l.f. and I just blend that in like that. And you get this nice little gradient, you see that? Oof. So I'm gonna go clean these off camera and I'll be back so we can start the eyeshadow. Well, eyebrows are all cleaned. I obviously put my line in the fine tapes because I just, I, I freaking love these. I mean, I, I just love them, I, I love them. Again, we're gonna use the Artistry palette from Ellie Girls, this is just amazing. I was thinking about a red lip, so I don't know, maybe play with like the browns and maybe um, like these nice gold tones over here. We, we gonna figure it out, but to prep and prime the eyes, I've been loving this eye primer. This is the e.l.f. eye primer right here. This is just so freaking good. It makes your eyeshadows last so good. They do not crease. I like taking my ring finger and just patting this in. So we're gonna start off with this shade right here called um, Radiance, and I'm gonna apply that as my transition color, and just apply that on the crease. All right, guys. So now I want to go into this nice brown right here called Finesse. And I want to tuck that just right under there so I can kind of deepen that out just a little bit. I'm just going to start running that color right on my crease again. These colors blend so well, guys. Like, literally, I'm in love with this palette. So just taking this baby and just building that color in the crease, as you can see, is just so freaking yummy. So now I want to deepen that out just a tiny little bit more. So I'm going to take this brown right here called Brilliance. And I'm going to just tuck it in right under and right there. I'm going to lightly blend that in there. So now we're going to take this first shade that we use and go over the top of all of that goodness and blend it out. Just so we can have a nice seamless blend. All right, guys, so this is looking really, really smoky and really cute. So now I wanna go and cut the crease off camera and I will be right back so we could finish the eyes, of course. All right, guys, so cut crease is all done. So I think I wanna go into this shade right here and it's um, creative and apply that where my cut crease is at. Pat that on. 
Oh, yes, that's pretty, that's pretty. Okay. We're just gonna pack that, all that in there, cause you know, that's what we do. And yes, huh, ooh, that looks so pretty. Oh my God. Yes, it's like almost like a rosy peachy color. That's if that makes sense, but that's what it's giving me. And oh, I'm living for it. Yes, honey. So of course I'm gonna just take a little bit of the brown color that we have going right here, mix them both, and just lightly blend that in. Ooh, that looks so freaking good. <gasps> yes. Now we're gonna go move into the face and let's get this foundation going. So now we're gonna go in with primer. So this primer is the one that I love. I tend to use it a lot. Um, I think I'm almost done with it. I'm definitely gonna go pick up a new one. But this is the Milani No Pore Zone Mattifying Primer. It has Lily and Bamboo Extract. This is what the baby looks like. This one is just so freaking good. I love it. It makes your makeup last. It makes my makeup look so freaking pretty. Like, I love this. I'm gonna take a little bit out, of course. And I'm gonna warm it in the back of my hands. And I'm gonna apply that mostly here on my T-zone, which is my power area. But then, of course, I'm just gonna take it all around my face all right guys so for foundation i am telling you when i picked this foundation up girl boy it blew me away i'm talking about the juvia's place i am magic concealer this baby right here is something else it is so full coverage and then for concealer i'm gonna go in with the juvia's place i am magic concealer this is another great concealer i am in the shade 19 this was so good. It reminds me of the Elf Hydrating Camo, which is like my holy grail. But these two babies, <clears throat> it just makes your, your face look so yummy and so just, I mean, you're beat to the gourds, honey. You are beat. Let me stop talking and let's get ready to apply this foundation. I'm going to do that little pump and see how that goes for my right side, your left. So I'm gonna take this Elf Dual Complexion Brush, which has been my favorite. Okay, so this does not look like my shade. I don't know why, because it didn't look like that before. But wait, 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 wait. We're gonna, we're gonna go with it, because I'm already putting on. I ain't wiping this off, but I mean, coverage is there. Can't deny that. Coverage is there. So that's half of my face, and as you can see, this is just coverage, honey. After setting powder and bronzer and blush and all that good stuff, we can make it work. I'm gonna do the same thing on my left side, your right, and then I'll be back to continue the face. So foundation is all on, and I'm not gonna lie, I forgot how freaking good this foundation is. Like, again, it's a little bit different um, tone than my neck, but... I mean, it's a little bit just, I think the undertone is just a little yellow for me, but um, I always, you know, I make it work. We're gonna make it work. So again, for concealer, we're gonna go in with the Eye Magic Concealer, of course, but I do have a favorite sponge, guys. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. So my favorite sponge to um, blend out my concealer is this sponge from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Camo sponge. It's supposed to go like together with the e.l.f. Um, camo concealer, but I blend every single um, concealer with this. It's just so freaking good. And I'm just gonna put a tiny bit here and there. A little bit here, a little bit there, and a little bit on this side. And we're gonna start off with these first. I kind of like letting this sit just a little bit so it could have more coverage. But when it comes to these other spots, yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna blend we're gonna blend this out. You know what I'm saying? Let's go and blend this out.
So as you can see, concealer's all blended out. And do you see how nice? Um, this is choking me. Oh my god. T, like I was saying, how nice this looks. I'm gonna zoom in. It looks so freaking. Oh my god, it looks so pretty. So to set it, this is like mm, powder. Like when I mean mm, powder, it's just like you feel it come like from within. It's just so yummy. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. It has to be literally hands down the best powder in the entire drugstore besides the elf halo glow which is also my favorite but this baby mm, honey when i started using it i just love the way it made my makeup just 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 good like if you haven't tried it definitely try it out because it's that good really like going into this brush right here from morphe i'm gonna really push that in there so lightweight it sets your makeup like in place like your makeup is not moving like you would have thought it was moving all right guys so this is the face all set and yeah this is just pretty as f so now we're gonna move into bronzer and blush and when i tell you you're gonna be surprised if not you should be surprised um because these products are actually found at family dollar and when I tell you they blew me away the first time I filmed with them and I actually applied them, when I tell you, oh my God. For bronzer, we have this one right here. This is the LA Color Bronzer in the shade Beach Babe. And I tell you, mm, such a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. Like, I love this. I literally, since I bought it, every single video after that, I was just using it and using it. And I was like, all right, let me start using my other bronzers because people are gonna get tired of this one. But it's just really good. I'm gonna go in with the Flawless um, Face Brush from e.l.f. I'm gonna take this and really place that. You see that? How pretty that looks? Oh my God, yes. Boom, and you see how pretty that looks? Like, oh my God, this is just the bronzer like if you want a really cheap bronzer and it's um and a good working bronzer this is it honey because it's just so pretty so for blush we're gonna go in with the la color red rouge blush this is what the baby looks like really pretty color this is in the shade preppy and as you can tell this is one of my favorite freaking colors and it comes with a mirror <laughs> i just love it so much you see that it just gives you like a nice little sheen nothing crazy but look how pretty that looks oh my god so while that um bakes a little bit and does what it do we're gonna go in with mascara this is the essence last princess false effect mascara this baby right here is just so freaking good All right, guys, so for lashes, oh, lashes, if you been here for a while and see my videos, you know that I adore the triple push-up collection from Kiss, which are these one right here. This is actually my favorite style from them. This is Brazzy Air, but I did go shopping in January, and these are found at TJ Maxx. This is, these are the Pure Pro Eyelashes 3D Cruelty Free Foam Mink Lashes. And when I tell you, these has become one of my favorite styles, literally. It's just so wispy and they like separated, but they look so freaking good. I think they're a little bit dramatic for this look, but I'm just gonna use them because they're my favorite and can't nobody tell me nothing. So I'm gonna apply some glue on my lashes. Then I take it on top of my lash and that's where I apply this. If you have sensitive eyes, don't do it because I'm not trying to mess up your eyes. I don't have sensitive eyes, so this really works. Like, when I tell you, when I apply that, it's just, like, it's a magnet. It literally sticks. Let me apply these off um, camera, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so lashes are on, and tell me these are not just freaking pretty. They just, they're literally one of my favorite, favorite um, lashes to wear. I don't care if they're dramatic. I wear them with every single look. I don't care. All right, guys, so for highlighter, this one, mm, I was dying to get e.l.f. highlighter, and when I found this one at um, TJ Maxx, it literally just won me over. It's not stupid blinding like my other highlighters. It's a nice little glow, but you can definitely build it up. But this is the e.l.f. Um, highlighter. This is in the white gold. This is what it looks like. It's just so freaking pretty. Like, oh my god. 
it it really is pretty so I'm gonna take my highlighting brush in here and just really you see that it's just so subtle but it is so pretty it gives you like this like I don't know this wet look oh my god it's like mm. All right, guys, so let's finish off these bottom lashes so we could apply some eyeliner. And I want to go into this dark brown right there. Then I want to take this color right here, guys, and blend that out, of course. All right, guys, so for eyeliner, I've been loving my BFF um, gel liners from... Colourpop, so I'm gonna take this shade right here called Joyride, nice red, just to play off with this simple neutral um, look. This is what we're gonna put in the waterline. All right, guys, so eyeliner is on. Oh, I am loving how this face just turned out. So for lips, we're gonna go in with this um, trio right here. Yes, I'm doing a bold red lip again. It's just, mm, I've been loving this trio. So this is from Morphe, and you get a lip liner, the lipstick, and you get this gloss. I love this combo. The only thing is this one bleeds a little bit, but that's because I just packed on too much, thinking it was a regular gloss. But it's so freaking beautiful, and so is the lipstick. Do you see that? Oof. So I'm gonna outline my lips first, of course. Alright guys, so that is the red lip. Mm. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Can't nobody tell me nothing. No, for real, but. Mm. Alright guys, so for setting spray, I'm gonna go in with the Stay All Night Micro Fine Setting Spray from Elf. This is what the baby looks like. Such an amazing spray. I'm gonna take this and we're gonna set the face. Alright guys, so we made it to the end of the video and this is the look that I created using my favorite January makeup. I am so excited with how this came out. This looks so pretty. This red lip is literally, I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder. It's just so freaking pretty. Like, can nobody tell me nothing? See that glow? Mm. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming back and hanging out with me and just watching me create this beautiful look using my January favorites. Let me know in the comments below which is your favorite product that I use. What did you like? What didn't you like? This was super fun. I love all these products. So, and I actually like doing these like um month favorites. I love doing that. So let me know in the comments below if this is something you like to watch on my channel. Also, I wanted to let you guys know if you are watching this video, it will be up on Monday. So I had a giveaway in my other video with Tommy Lee right here for you guys to see. So Sunday, February 14th is the last day to enter. I was planning to announce them here, but I do have a little bit more entry. So I'm actually going to pick a winner and announce it on my Instagram, which I'm going to leave right here on the screen. So definitely go check out my Instagram. If you enter the giveaway, you should be already subscribed and follow me on my Instagram because that's where I will be announcing the winners. Also, I am actually picking two winners to win um, a mystery box that I obviously showed you guys. Cannot wait to um, pick one of you guys and send it to you guys. I'm so excited for that. Again, guys, thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye, guys. Uh -huh.